I wanted to choose a special place for us to have lunch today before leaving Birmingham and going back to Cheltenham. So I did some research on what the best restaurants were in Birmingham, which ones had the highest reviews, and there's this restaurant that has amazing reviews on Google. And I read about it and thought, oh, we should totally try this out. Well, then I found out it's a vegan restaurant. Now, Ian's got a bit of a bad attitude about vegan food. He just thinks it's not gonna taste good. And while I do tend to be vegetarian most of the time in my diet, I also really love milk and cheese and butter and eggs. And so sometimes I'm a bit skeptical too, but this place has such great reviews. I just couldn't resist going there and giving it a try. So come along with us and let's check out Land Restaurant here in Birmingham. You have to make a reservation in advance. You have a choice between a five course lunch or an eight course lunch. I chose the five course lunch. It was, I believe, 38 pounds. You have to pay in advance. So this is gonna be a very interesting, very unusual experience. Come along and let's see how it is. It's in this really cool building called Great Western Arcade. This is a really cool arcade full of things like a vintage candy store, Mr. Sim's Old Sweet Shop, and all kinds of foodie shops, even Hawaiian poke. Those are some beautiful looking meringues. And here we are, Land Restaurant. It's got a Michelin rating and the Good Food Guide for 2023. The restaurant decor is very green, which I guess is appropriate for a place that is all about the land and fruits of the land. Ian said he counted the chairs and the restaurant seats 22, but I actually love the fact that it's small because it's very well-managed and efficient. The kitchen is at the back of the restaurant and it's open so you can see the food being prepared. Everything just seems to work together perfectly. The artwork is very abstract and let's just say subtle. Okay, time for course number one. A potato croquette with kimchi ketchup. Ooh, that's different. And garlic emulsion and chopped spring onions on top. All right, fantastic, thank you. No cutlery is provided for this, so they are insisting that we pick it up with our hands and <laughs> with all those sauces, this could be messy. I'm not gonna vlog my face after this. <laughs> okay, that's really delicious. It's like the fanciest hash brown ever. Really crispy and the sauces are good. I'm not a fan of kimchi, but the kimchi ketchup is very tasty and edible. In preparation for the second course, we were given cutlery. So let's see what this course has to offer. We have courgettes with salsa verde, sesame seed sauce, and on top is powdered courgette skin, also known as zucchini. Very interesting. I'm trying to figure out if the courgettes are cooked. Mm hmm It's very mild, but this green sauce tastes like a pesto, and this sesame seed sauce is really creamy. That's what vegan restaurants do is they use, I think, nut milk and nut purees to have the creaminess that you don't get from dairy. So the flavors are fantastic, and it is cooked, but it's not really hot. It's just kind of warm. Very tasty, and it seems healthy. Course three, what is it? Roasted and glazed cauliflower, a curried peanut saute with a peanut crunch on top. Ooh, that is a beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Well, we had cauliflower last night and that was my favorite part of the meal. So let's see how this is. The curry sauce is very tasty, but it's not too spicy. And the peanut saute, I love peanut saute. This peanut saute is amazing. It's a really, really flavorful combination but not too spicy hot, which I appreciate. And now for the fourth and main course. Car carrot noodles and what kind of broth? Laksa. Laksa broth. 
like that Singaporean interesting mushrooms and fresh coriander, also known as cilantro. These are carrot noodles. Oh my goodness, very interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat this. Oh, I see, okay, here we go, here we go. Doing the Italian twirl. Mmm. The broth is really flavorful. Um, I'm gonna put this fork down. Just get uh, a taste of the broth. It has a little bit of a curry flavor to it, but really delicious. And the carrot noodles are so unusual, but they're tasty. I really like them. It's a good course. And now for the fifth course and dessert. Charred pineapple, ginger lime jelly, spiced coconut crumb, coconut milk ice cream, soy sauce caramel, okay. Pineapple twill, that's the little surfboard on top. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. That looks really interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's taking all the sauce off. Okay, I'm removing, oh my. I'm removing the surfboard. Mmm. Mmm. It's so light, but it's like caramelized pineapple. Oh my. Sorry. This is a mess. <laughs> oh, I see. It's little pieces of pineapple. And then, um, yeah, this is not going to be pretty. That caramel sauce is so good, and everything has a very toasted flavor to it. It's just delicious, this pineapple. It's very light, so it doesn't feel heavy and weigh you down, but it's just delicious. It's sweet and just flavorful. All the flavors working together, like every other course here. It's amazing. Okay, so the Land Restaurant is just a few steps away from the cathedral, so we thought we'd come sit here on the cathedral grass and do a little recap of our meal at Land. So what did you think, Ian? Overall, it was very good. I really liked the fact that uh, each of the courses was very saucy because I'm really into sauces on food. Mm -hmm. My favorite foods have sauces like Indian food and Thai food. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that each of these courses had sauces that were each one unique and interesting and tasty made a, a good difference. Yep. And I thought every course was so carefully curated. All the really interesting flavors and textures and just combinations of spices and ingredients that I've never had before. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be bold and say that was one of the top 10 best restaurant meals I've had in my life. Um, I know this is a bold statement. I've eaten a lot of food in a lot of restaurants in my long life and that was up there. Um, just because it was so unusual and everything was so well done. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. Yes. If you want a really exquisite meal and you're not scared of vegan food because it can be super tasty, I would highly recommend you going. I hope that you come check out Land Restaurant. That pigeon just about landed on my head as I was saying my outro. <laughs> the risk of being in a, in a big city sitting in a park. And there's a dog in front of me. Dogs, sleeping people, all kinds of crazy things when you're trying to film your outro. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today. <laughs>